Kaylee and today I'm going to be reacting to your assumptions about me and me as a teacher. So I asked you guys on Instagram for some assumptions a while ago. <laughs> I've been meaning to film this. A lot of these are extremely accurate and then there's a few that kind of bothered me just because they're so not true. If you are new, definitely hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with all my teaching related videos. I'm a first year, fifth grade teacher in Massachusetts. I thought you had an authoritarian vibe about you, but you're actually really nice, LOL. Oh, thanks. I don't really know what to say about that one. I am nice. You will do anything to help your students become successful in their lives. Yes, for sure. How old are you? Because it's hard to tell because you look so young. <laughs> I am 22 years old. My birthday was July 1st. Still I am pretty young. Just graduated from college. This is pretty much the youngest I can possibly be as a teacher. You put your heart and soul into everything and are so well planned because you've been planning for years. Yes, I have. I started collecting things since my freshman year of college and I've always kind of been lurking on teacher gram um, before I made my own. I was saving a bunch of ideas and just like always preparing and like collecting books and just all that stuff. I think you are tired. Aren't we all? Yeah, I'm a little tired, but I feel like weekends I get refreshed for the upcoming week, which is good. I still do like doing some school related stuff. I don't know, it still brings me joy and I know that'll probably change eventually when I'm not like a brand new teacher, but as of now, I don't mind doing, you know, some stuff at home. Um, it did get really overwhelming when we first started hybrid, but now my team teacher and I are in like a better place um, with getting ahead and like knowing how to plan everything out so that we're like making the most of our time. And we pretty much do everything together, which makes things easier and quicker, which is good. But now I think I'm at a pretty good place. I don't think I'm too tired or burnt out. You are hardworking and trying to make the best out of the situation we are all in. Thank you, um, I try. Obviously I don't wanna spread like toxic positivity, but I do try to be positive and just be as positive as possible through this, especially for my students because if I'm not positive, there's no way they're going to be positive about it. You are super organized and want everything to be perfect. Guilty. Yes. Obviously, nothing's going to be perfect, but I try my best and I am really organized. I just can't function not being organized. A dirty classroom is your pet peeve. You already know Shakira, okay? I. Like I just said, it cannot function in a messy space. Obviously, I'm not gonna go in like other rooms and start like moving things around, but in my own classroom, can't function with like a mess. And even like, um, I was left a lot of great things from the retiring teacher and I went through it and I was like, you know what? I'm just, I took what I wanted. There were a lot of great things and then I just gave the rest to other first year teachers and new teachers in the building to look through because I just don't want to collect a ton of stuff and obviously as a teacher it can be extremely easy to just let things pile up. You're enjoying teaching fifth and prefer teaching upper grades. I am loving teaching fifth grade which is honestly um, surprising for me. I kind of had a feeling I would like it but if you've watched my previous videos or like my interview experience video you know I've always wanted to teach like younger grades um, like first, second, third. I'll definitely stay in fifth for a while if I can. And if I do get the chance to move down, I would like to try it out. Um, but I do really like fifth so far. And I realized too, just like explaining things is actually really hard. And it, maybe it's because obviously fifth grade concepts are more complicated than younger grade concepts. Um, but it's hard to be really like succinct and like concise with explaining things. So I really want to work on that. So at least in fifth grade, they kind of already have the background knowledge in most things that we're doing um, because I don't know sometimes it's hard you're very organized and want things your way good thing by the way yes um, again with the organization I just need to um, and I do want things my way but I am becoming so much more flexible ever since COVID happened um, I've definitely let go a lot because there's no other choice so that's been a positive through all this is that I'm learning to not be as so like crazy about everything even though my brain still wants to do it but I just know I have to let some things go and like not everything's gonna be perfect of course so I guess what I'm trying to say is that I've just been like more flexible and it's okay if something doesn't work out 
Whereas if COVID never happened, I probably wouldn't be as flexible naturally as I am now. I'm not even a teacher yet and I feel like we would be friends. Love your vlogs. Thank you so much. We would definitely be friends. You're the cool, young, and hip teacher who is totally in with the youth. <laughs> I obviously am young, so naturally I kind of know the things they're into because honestly, as weird as it is, like obviously I'm 22 and they're literally 10, <laughs> but I feel like our generations almost overlap. And I also have a 12-year-old brother, so he makes me play Among Us and he's into Pokemon Go and things like that, so I feel like I naturally am exposed to those things anyway so I'm aware of them and can relate in a sense but it's not like I'm friends with my students obviously I'm their teacher and I think that's important but I do try to relate to them as much as I can and I've definitely built good relationships with all of them this is the one that is not true whatsoever you are a shy teacher and I don't really know what would give that vibe off but that just struck me as weird because that's not me. I'm not saying being shy is a bad thing, but it's just not me. So, I don't know, when someone doesn't recognize something within your character, it almost like offends you a little bit, or at least me. And obviously I know they didn't mean anything by it, like it's not a bad thing to be shy, but since I identify so much with like not being shy, it's like weird to have someone like call you shy if that makes sense I don't know so those are the assumptions that I got from you guys um, like I said most of them were true I want to get back on track with weekly vlogs and I will start on Monday with a new vlog to get back into the groove hopefully I've been trying to spend less time on social media which is kind of like going against what I'm trying to do here because you know I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel grow my Instagram but I also like don't want to spend a lot of time on it I'm just trying to do more things like bullet journaling I recently bought a bullet journal and um, some highlighters off of Amazon you can check them out in my Amazon storefront link down below um, and I also just bought some brush pens today from Michaels I've been practicing my hand lettering which is really exciting that's something I've been wanting to do for a long time um, but I really just want to start doing stuff and like having a hobby that's not online to just be able to disconnect and kind of refresh. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.